but does it? Because it now has sport steering and sport suspension and a sporty spoiler at the front, does it mean it no longer works off-road? Well, to find out, we've devised a little test. This is a Challenger 2 tank. It has a 12-cylinder diesel engine which produces 1,200 horsepower, and that's enough for a top speed of nearly 40 miles an hour. Not bad for something which weighs 62 tons. The thing I'm most interested in, though, is the big gun, which, as you can see, is rifled for greater accuracy. Not like those smooth-bore American ones that just hit something over there. It fires a smorgasbord of ammunition, chief among which really you've got high explosive rounds which hit the target and blow it to pieces, or the depleted uranium rounds which penetrate the armour on the target and give everyone inside two heads. The idea is, is that I've got to drive the Range Rover Sport from here, OK, yep. to those woods over there, and you've got to see if you can get your gun pointed at me in such a way that if you push the fire button, I'd be history. Who's the gunner? Who's the one that... You're the gunner? Yep. Engaging I'll be me. keeping you in my sight. Trying? You'll be trying no, to I keep... I will be. <laughs> Sorry. How old are you? Me, 26. 26. <laughs> Thinks he knows everything. Just watch this. Watch this! So here we are on the start line. Goliath and David Beckham. I have a cunning plan. You see, they'll be expecting me to go forwards, because that's where the destination is. Ready? Three, two, one, now, now, now! <laughs> God, that battle turns quickly, but not quickly enough. And straight into the woods. Horror verse, horror verse, horror verse. I've read enough war comics to know that tanks can't go in woods. Halt! Because they can't move their barrel around. I'm light, I'm nimble, I'm agile. Oh! Sorry! Me! What I hadn't read, though, was the war comic featuring the Challenger's secret weapon. Flesh smoke! What in the name of all that's holy is he doing? He's making smoke, I can't see! I can't see anything! Keep tracking, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up! If I don't get going soon, my big hot supercharger will be a red glow on his thermal imaging camera. I was stuck in the woods being turned into a kipper, so I decided to deploy the car's tyre-bursting speed. And away we go. A pass. Over rough ground, the Challenger 2 is the fastest tank in the world. Now I'm doing 40 miles an hour. The tank can go that fast, though. Oh, I'm... Oh, no, I seem to have brought Puff Daddy's car to the Somme! This is where I've had it. You can't drive an off-road car, not even one as good as this, over this kind of surface fast, and you can with a tank. Speed wasn't working. I couldn't break free from that gun. OK, mate's hard right stick. What are you, hard Travis right? I need some cover. Now what are you going to do? Because I can outturn you, sunshine. Right, he's going around the circus, little Now, you see, what I've done brilliantly is hidden behind these bushes. So I'm fully protected from the high explosive round by the branches. Get around the corner, get around the corner. But then it dawned on me that the branches might not actually stop the shell. Look at this, watch what I can do here. Sneak behind him? He doesn't know! Yes! Stumped by my agility! <laughs> yeah. And I'm making smoke. Oh, yes. Stump it, smash it, Cam. In seconds, though, he was back on my tail. Gotta say, 
I know it's not the most important thing at the moment, but some of the ride comfort has been lost by turning the Range Rover into a sport model. There was no way I could survive in open ground. I've got him, I've got him. OK, nail it, nail it, nail it. Drive it, missed him. Because that turret can do a full rotation in nine seconds. So my last chance was to try some serious off-roading. If I can get down to the bottom of this ridge here, he won't be able to... He won't be able to come down. Oh, but I've got... Wait a minute. Neutral. I want that on. Low range. Come on, hurry up! He can't follow me down here, and when I'm at the bottom, his gun won't go low enough to be able to get me. He's just coming down. Quick down, quick down, quick down. So if I just back up again, don't let me down now. Do not let me down now. Let's take, let's take, let's take. Be good off road. Keep going around, keep going around, keep going around, keep going around. Power. Be a good off road car. You are. Oh yes. Oh, I have to say, I really was expecting this to be useless off road, and it just is. That bought me some more time, but not much. This really is just a battle of, of rage. Who runs out of fuel first? And that's a bad plan, because I suspect it's going to be me. You can't get away from it. It is really a very, very good off-road car, this. It really is. But if you're planning on invading another country, use a tank. Come on, hit him now! Target! Target stopped. One time's clocks are destroyed. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Blown. Blown to pieces. Uh, and these are the gentlemen who blew me to pieces. Give them a big yeah. round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. My heroes. Yeah. Well done. No, it was a great day out, that. Really was. Can Fantastic. I just say, I've still... I've got doubts about this car. I mean, it is brilliant, there's no doubt about it. Oh, it's a piece fantastic. of engineering. You have to doff your cap to the Land Rover engineers. It's, it's epic. It is, but I think you're going to know where I'm going with this. I think you're going to agree, because what's going to happen at some point, you'll be at the lights in your sport, and somebody's going to pull up next to you in a proper big Range Rover, and you're going to look and think, look how high they are. Well, you their... always think. Well, that. yeah, I guess. <laughs> and that has a much better interior than yep. the sport, it and does. it has the fold-down tailgate. Yep. And you can have that in. Engine in this one. Yeah, you yeah. have a supercharged yeah. engine. Then you've exactly. Got a lot. What I would say in conclusion is that if you're really not hammering down a road, this sport is what? Six or seven percent better than the normal Range Rover, okay? Eight. Eight. Final offer, eight percent better than the normal Range Rover. But for everything else, that's best. So really that would be uh, what we'd say in summary is that if you're gonna buy a Range Rover, make it a proper one. Not that anyone will listen to that, they'll buy the sport, and I reckon, well, every footballer's going to have one for a start. Ooh, yes. And by next year, you could walk from Cheshire to Surrey on like a carpet of Range Rover sports without ever touching the ground all the way. Absolutely. And do you know what? The Gulf Stream would continue to flow. <laughs>